the average mana value of creatures inside this precon is five. So if you're playing one land every single turn and get no extra mana, it would take you five turns to play one creature. But inside this precon, it doesn't really matter because when you're playing creatures that have powerful abilities like Annihilator, it often can take games and totally swing them in your favor. Because of this, you have to understand that this commander deck wins games in the late game. When you play this deck, you need to make sure in your opening hand that you have cards that allow you to generate mana outside of just playing lands. There is an abundance of mana rocks inside this deck that you can play on turn two. There are also creatures that can tap for mana, as well as cards that reduce the cost of the creatures you cast, and sometimes cards that allow you to double the amount of mana that you have. Keep in mind, there are also other creatures inside this deck that generate creature tokens called Eldrazi Scions that we can sacrifice to generate a colorless mana to cast our giant creatures. Now, at some point, because of your mana rocks, you're gonna start to be able to cast big creatures. Now, I recommend that to be free from creating a problem, do not attack with these creatures. Use these creatures to protect your life total. Notice the big toughness on these creatures. These creatures act as a stop gap to bring you from the early game into the late game, which is where you're gonna win playing this deck. There's no need to create problems by attacking. Our commander Ulalek reads, whenever you cast an Eldrazi spell, you may pay two colorless mana. If you do, copy all spells you control, then copy all other activated and triggered abilities you control. You may choose new targets for the copies. We only want to cast Ulalek when we are between one or two turns away from taking advantage of his ability. For example, if we start the game with an Awakening Zone and a Hideous Taskmaster in our hand, we automatically know that we can take advantage of the Taskmaster's ability to take our opponent's creatures. The reason it's important that we have the Awakening Zone in our hand is because the Awakening Zone creates a 0-1 Eldrazi spawn that we can sacrifice for mana because guys in order for us to pull off this combo we need nine total mana seven from the taskmaster and we also need two to activate ulalek's ability now keeping in mind that the awakening zone at the beginning of our upkeep of which there will be many upkeeps we're going to create an aldrazi spawn that we can sacrifice for two mana so what i'm saying is do not go around blocking and attacking and sacrificing with these Eldrazi spawn for no reason. Not that you'd want to attack anyway, because it has zero power, but you want to protect the Eldrazi spawns so that when we have the opportunity with Ulalek in play, we can cast our giant creature, which will let us steal up to three creatures. And then because we sack two Eldrazi spawns, we get to take another three creatures. So we take six creatures from our opponents that then gain Trample, Haste, and Annihilator 1. Guys, these are the one of many plays inside this commander deck that can totally swing the game in your favor and cause you to win games. So save up your Eldrazi spawns and look for these plays. Imagine you're playing this commander deck and you have a board state of very powerful creatures until somebody just... In the case of a board wipe, we want to save these cards in our hand because the spawn bread protector gets cards out of the graveyard into our hand, the artisan of Kozlek will put them back onto the battlefield, and the Ulamog's Dreadsire we can tap to create a 10-10 colorless Aldrazi creature token. So the Dread Sire is a board state in and of itself. So making sure that we don't overextend when we play this commander deck can make sure that we have the ability to regenerate our board state in the case of a... If you got value out of this video, remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. And keep in mind that we do have a Discord community as well where we all talk about these pre-cons, build commander decks, 
and just generally have a good time okay always remember everybody eat healthy okay work out every single day most importantly you guys got to remember to believe in yourself right peace out people